Hi, my name is Alex Fontana. I'm a solutions architect at VMware, focusing on the virtualization of Microsoft products and specifically Exchange Server. While at VMware, I've also been a member of the IT architecture team responsible for virtualizing the Exchange environment here at VMware for about 12,000 users. What I'm going to talk to you about today are the three topics that I hear most often when talking to customers about Exchange virtualization. First of all, has anyone done this? Are there any other customers that have successfully virtualized Exchange? Secondly, is this supported? Does Microsoft support virtualizing Exchange? Are there any caveats? Does VMware support virtualizing Exchange? And then thirdly, what are the benefits of virtualizing Exchange on VMware vSphere? Has anyone done this? The answer is simple, yes. We have thousands of customers that have successfully virtualized Exchange on VMware vSphere. One customer in particular comes to mind, Intermedia. Intermedia is an Exchange hosting company, which today supports over 450,000 Exchange mailboxes, 150,000 of which are hosted on VMware vSphere. Intermedia also has a commitment to virtualize all new environments in their hosted Exchange environment. Support. Does Microsoft support the virtualization of Exchange? Again, the answer is simple, yes. Since Exchange 2007 Service Pack 2, Microsoft has had a support statement in place for virtualizing Exchange. With Exchange 2010 Service Pack 1, Microsoft opened the doors even wider, allowing features such as VMware vMotion and vSphere HA to be used along with certain features of Exchange, such as database availability groups. Let's take a look at some of these features. In this environment, we have multiple Exchange servers, and we want to perform the maintenance of one of the hosts running the Exchange workloads. By putting the host in maintenance mode, vMotion will be used to migrate the running Exchange virtual machines onto the other host. Now, this migration is done online with no interruption to the VM or the underlying application. As the host goes into maintenance mode, we can see the virtual machines running Exchange are seamlessly migrated onto the remaining vSphere host, and the virtual machines continue powered on. The application keeps running. When we're completed with our maintenance, we can take the host out of maintenance mode, and the virtual machines will migrate back to their original host to balance the workload. Now let's take a look at how a feature like Storage vMotion allows us to seamlessly migrate our virtual machine storage without any interruption to the running virtual machine. In this environment, we have two Exchange Edge servers. One of these Edge servers has been placed on a tier of storage which we typically reserve for the mailbox role, the gold data store. We're going to go ahead and, using Storage vMotion, seamlessly migrate the storage for Exchange Edge 2 to our silver data store. Now, as we migrate the virtual machine storage device, our application is going to be completely unaware that the storage under the virtual machine is being migrated. Upon completion of the migration, our Exchange Edge server number two will be on the appropriate data store. We hope you found this helpful. For more information on virtualizing Exchange, go to www.vmware.com forward slash go forward slash exchange.